This diagram here represents the normal venous drainage in the brain. That eventually there's a large vein that forms in the upper part of the head, goes posteriorly and divides into two large veins that eventually drain into the neck. Certain patients who suffer from idiopathic intracranial hypertension have bilateral narrowing at the areas of venous drainage that are approximately in the region above or slightly behind the ear. In these patients, the blood flow is not normal, and as a result, there is backflow into the head, resulting in increased uh, pressure and the symptoms of intracranial hypertension. In the clinical trial that we offer in our hospital, we will evaluate whether placing a stent across the narrowing of one of the two sides, in other words, you don't need to treat both sides, but only one, by placing a stent, which you see in this uh, schematic representation as a fine metallic mesh, Thus, relieving the stenosis, we can restore normal blood flow across the large veins of the brain and into the neck. We believe that this treatment will relieve the symptoms of idiopathic intracranial hypertension.